latest in terms of how the week has been. Well, it is great to see you too, Jesse, and definitely it has been a week packed with activities uh, from the National Assembly, Senate, and of course, uh, the general political arena. And uh, some of the key things that took center stage include uh, the KC Deputy Governor, Robert Monda, was impeached actually. Uh, becoming the first deputy governor to be impeached since the promulgation of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and of course since the beginning of uh, the devolution era. And of course uh, the, the vote went through uh, that uh, heated session that saw about 39 senators agreeing with the charges, the four charges that had been leveled against uh, Monda in that uh, hearing. And of course he's now set to move to the court, court of appeal uh, to seek uh, a, a, a rejoinder, of course, to get another opinion from the courts uh, regarding that impeachment. I uh, remember Governor Mike Sonko was one of those people who went to all to the, to the full breadth and length of the impeachment process, going to the Court of Appeal and even to the Supreme Court, uh, where he did not succeed. And uh, the net effect of this impeachment means that uh, the, 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 the Deputy Governor, uh, Dr. Robert Monda, may not or actually will not occupy public office until uh, actually to the last of these uh, uh, administration and of course we wait to see whether that court will give him the reprieve that he has been uh, looking for. Something that is closely linked to the activities that took center stage as well uh, this week is Raila's AUC hurdles. Remember there was a meeting in Addis Ababa and Raila Odinga or Baba as they say is seeking to go to Addis Ababa uh, to get uh, that seat, the chairmanship. Uh, towards that election that is coming in, uh, in February next year. And uh, the Council of uh, Ministers, Foreign Affairs Ministers, uh, who met in Addis Ababa, ruled and of course agreed to uh, shelve, or actually said uh, that they will, this is the time for the Eastern Africa region to produce the next chair who will succeed Musa Faki as the next uh, chairperson of the AUC, AU Commission. And something that was also very critical that Ray Lodinga was waiting uh, before he could now go full, uh, full, uh, full throttle in his campaigns is that decision that the next uh, chairperson will not be determined whether it will be a lady or a gentleman or a man or a woman. It will be open for all and that clears the hurdles that had been put on his way towards Addis Ababa. And remember, uh, the, the Foreign Affairs Minister of the PCS, uh, Muslim Davadi, said those uh, hurdles have now been cleared and his way is now open. And they, they will be beginning some campaigns in May and April, uh, April and May, with the President, uh, William Ruto, with some trips to the eastern, western, and southern regions. Something else that also took center stage this week is the Affordable Housing Bill 2020, 2023 which was passed by the National Assembly after it was passed as well by the Senate. Remember, it was passed by the National Assembly before uh, going to Senate and coming back to the National Assembly. Uh, there were two key proposals and changes that were made by the Senate, which included uh, that uh, pr proposal to have, uh, of course, 1.5% of the levy uh, coming from both sides, from those in the formal sector and those from the informal sector, meaning even those who are not employed formally will now be ta taxed and, of course, get that 1.5% uh, levy cut from their, uh, their salaries beginning the end of this month. I remember there was a meeting, the Kenya Kwanzaa PG in Naivasha, which agreed that that uh, bill must pass at the middle of this month before uh, uh, that deduction taking place next month. Something critical that also happened in the House is the NADCO re referendum. Do we have, are we going to see that referendum? And maybe, Jesse, you'll be asking your panelists uh, this one because uh, we spoke to the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee chairperson, uh, George Murugara, who said there are some recommendations in the NADCO report and in the bills that were uh, taken to that uh, committee, uh, the Joint Committee of the JLAC of the National Assembly and the other one from the Senate, that will change the basic doctrine structure, or rather doctrine structure of uh, the Constitution, meaning there will be changes that will affect the heart of the Constitution, and that will mean that Kenyans must go to the plebiscite to decide whether they want those changes effected. And uh, we'll be getting that full uh, report in the, uh, the report that will be tabled in the next 45 days, or rather uh, less than 45 days, when the report will be tabled back to the House. So, Jesse, that is the match that we had this week, and we'll be giving you some more in an interview that we did with George Murugara, the chair of JLAC. Jesse. Well, thanks, Stor. Definitely important to break down what key developments have